Hi, I'm Jerry Barish, and I'm the executive director of the Hewlett House here in Long Island. Good morning, how are you? You good? This is a community learning resource center for cancer. And exhale, release. I'm a cancer survivor, first and foremost, five times. And I'm a fighter and an advocate. I got involved with, with cancer, start with my mom, died of breast cancer, um, but my son had cancer. And um, when he was diagnosed, he was 13. I remember him saying to me when he found out, what did I do wrong? And, and he looked me right in the eye. It's very hard, I'm sorry. I always get at this point, I'm sorry. And he said, um, you know, Mom, make it go away. And that's what parents are supposed to do. Put the Band-Aid on it, and it goes away. Jerry's son, Michael Barish, passed away at 25 years old after a 12-year battle with Hodgkin's lymphoma. This tragic event, it transformed Jerry into a tireless advocate for families facing cancer-related challenges. At that moment, I promised that I would find out everything I could, why he got cancer, and would get involved as much as I could. There are times that I want to go into a corner when I think about my son, and I just cannot let that be nothing. It's very tough, but you can't give up because somebody's waiting in line. You know, and when they see you and they hear you, it gives them hope. In 2001, Jerry opened Hewlett House, a community healing, learning, and resource center for cancer concerns. Hewlett House has provided free activities, support groups, and consultations for over 29,000 people. You're so glad to see you again. I'm Nancy Coyle. I've had cancer for eight years. Around um, three years in, you get kind of cranky and depressed, and my husband, who's great support, he knew I needed something else. As much as people try to tell you they understand cancer, they don't. This group, they're always here for you. This place is like home. I started here maybe four years ago. I came to the Hewlett House to teach yoga for uh, cancer survivors. When they leave, their energy is different than when they come. In time, you get your hair back and it's doable. There's no argument that if you take people at risk, in stress, and give them the resources and the information and the support that they need, they're gonna do better. Their families are gonna do better and the community is gonna do better. That's clear and proven time after time after time. The Hewlett House is all about empowerment and dignity. And no space better showcases this in the inspiring wig room. Oh my God, I, the wig room is one of the most incredible rooms ever. When you look at your baldness every day, it reminds you that you have this disease. This is the one. That's it, honey. Jerry just doesn't give them a wig. Jerry gives them the information they need to go back out and fight. Uh, I often say, I tease her, you know, you give wigs and boxing gloves. You know, she cares, uh, a lot of people care, uh, but she puts those words into action. This house is nearly 300 years old, and while almost every corner of the historic main floor is being used to its fullest potential, the upstairs has fallen by the wayside. A second floor renovation would give the Hewlett House even more essential resources for those who really need them the most. George to the rescue would change this house, because this is what George is all about. He starts people out again. He gives them their hope. He gives them their life back. He puts them into recovery, and that's what George can do here. I think the main reason that we're all here on this earth is to spread love. And I think you feel it from Jerry immediately. You feel love and compassion. It's so easy to love that, right? And it's so easy to want to be a part of that. Jerry is adored by her staff and supporters, and I'm teaming up with them to give her a very special surprise. My crew and I are sneaking inside and making ourselves right at home. And we're gonna surprise Jerry when she arrives at work with the news that she's being rescued. Right now, um, Jerry just pulled up to the Hewlett house and uh, she's about to, any second now, enter the building. Hey Jerry, how's it going? George! How are you? 
George to the rescue! Oh my God, George! <laughs> George, you're rescuing my house. You're um, rescuing me. Oh my God, George. Well, you rescue so many people. Right? I don't know what to do uh, yeah, now. Wait a minute. I'm so excited. It's like someone coming in and saying, I've just been told I'm cancer free. I mean, science is science, but there's something about the human spirit. It defies odds. And you hear these stories again and again. You're one of those people in one of those places. Hewlett House is one of those places that really just supports that and empowers that, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna take care of that upstairs for you. I am truly beyond belief, thankful, ecstatic. You want to show me around? Give me a tour. Let's go. All right. Let's go. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by Scotch Painters Tape. For more info, go to scotchbrand.com/painterstape. Helping us out here at the Hewlett House, we have our alumni GC, Ben Jackson from Ben General Contracting, and our interior designer, Anne Marie from DeSalvo Interiors. Anne Marie, you probably don't have to watch yourself, but I do not. Uh, Ben, definitely watch these beams. Don't want you knocking the old melon on them. So, this home has been here for 300 years. I mean, the ceilings are low, the door jams are crooked, the floors are sloping down. I think that there's a lot that we can do just cosmetically, but first and foremost, I saw this. You know, George and I walk into it with Amory upstairs, and one of the main concerns, mechanically, structurally with the house, is we saw there was some water damage on the ceiling. I'm gonna go upstairs and take a look. I'm gonna see. A man of action. That's me. Huh? Cosmetically, assuming that Ben is able to figure out what's going on with the water, and what are you thinking we can do with these spaces? So for Jerry at this time, she needs to function in this house. There are office spaces that are underutilized. They are just collecting junk. They just don't have enough space. We're going to take two rooms. We're gonna make one for older kids, one for younger kids, patients and volunteers. And then we're gonna take the other half of the house and create a wonderful office space for Jerry so she can function properly. And I think that we keep it sunny and bright and happy, just like the rest of the house. On that note, uh, hey, we need some sunny and bright and positive news. What's, uh, <laughs> What's the word out there? So I did some exploration. I went up in the attic. It seems there's an old unit up there, uh, an air conditioning unit, and it doesn't have a condensation pan, which collects all the water and, and disperses it. So we're going to correct the problem with the HVAC. You know, from there we can clean it, paint it. Luckily, nothing got destroyed. Nothing's rotten. All right. Um, cool. So the Hewlett House is, it's old. That's no secret. It's literally been here for 300 years. And what happens with old houses is they settle and they sink. The floor is eight and a half inches off level. All right, let's do this. By ripping out all the carpet, we're gonna be able to figure out how best to level out the floor. Always fun to rip up a little carpet. One of the things about ripping up carpet is that a carpet literally encompasses the whole room. So you can't just like rip it up and put it aside. You have to roll it up. My patented style is rolling it up like a burrito. And uh, I always bring a little side of guacamole and sour cream. Just dip that in some sour cream. A little pico de gallo. We got lunch. Here we go. And it's a smoke alarm. Tell you call the fire department. George to the Rescue is sponsored in part by 3M. For more information, go to 3MDIY.com. Tell you call the fire department. Yeah. It's amazing how sensitive these smoke alarms are. But uh, keep the doors open, air it out. Fun fact, folks, smoke detectors don't just detect smoke. They also detect dust. So if you're creating a lot of dust, well, the smoke detector is going to go off. So now we have to open up all the doors and windows and wait for the dust to settle. Air quality is so important for those who are affected by cancer and the Hewlett House, its HVAC system is in desperate need of a complete overall. Their outdated heating and cooling system, it is big, dark, heavy, terrifying. And it all needs to come out through this very narrow basement staircase. There is no way that Jerry could have pulled this off on her own. 
And now with the new carrier system in the Hewlett House, airflow is going to be enhanced. And most importantly, it is going to kill off harmful bacteria and mold. Benny's got a lot of work ahead of him. In this case, we've gone with Scotch Blue Painter's Tape. Now look for Scotch Delicate Surface Painter's Tape in purple, which is a perfect tape choice for this dynamic drywall pattern application. Hello? Oh yeah, you guys are outside? All right, yeah, throw it out, thanks. It's been well established that the Hewlett House is very old, and Jerry's doing everything she can, but uh, the kitchen now, the appliances started to uh, hit the fritz. So I got my buddy Jason here from Plessler Appliances. We got a refrigerator, we got an oven, we got a dishwasher, we got a hood. Contacted my boss and we discussed, you know, it's for a worthy cause. Cancer's very close to Plessler's heart. Yeah. And he said, you know what? Let's apply the whole appliances. No. Stainless steel, the whole works. All right, let's go. All right. Yep, there away we go. Hey, Marie. Oh, Hi, hey. How are you? So while I was wandering around the house, there is a room in the back that just is speaking to me. It's, you know, screaming, please, please renovate us. This is the wig room. No, this, I've, I've been in here. This is, uh, this is a really special room. It takes it's, your breath away. It really does. It's Obviously. such a pivotal moment right. in a woman's treatment yeah. when she loses her hair that I would love to do this room, to tackle this room and make it something glamorous and fun instead of, you know, a negative. Let's turn it into a positive. I'm so excited that Anne-Marie wants to do something with the wig room because I think it is the most powerful room at the Hewlett House. We can really turn it into something special. I'll go tell Ben that uh, we're so adding excited. something to the rescue. Fantastic. Perfect. 3M's WorkTunes Connect with Bluetooth technology combines a comfortable design with high fidelity sound quality. Help protect your hearing on noisy job sites while streaming your favorite tunes. Make and take phone calls without missing a beat. No cords, no hassle. Be connected. Woo! We got a stretch, guys. Everyone's got a stretch. So it is a two front attack here at the Hewlett House. We have furniture coming in from one side. We got countertops from Cosentino coming in on the other side. I'm telling you, you don't realize it, but a tight calf and a tight hammy, it'll lead to back problems, hip problems, all sorts of ailments. Oh, all right, here we go, all right. Yeah. So we have been hard at work since Anne Marie was last here. Got the carpet in, got everything painted. Construction is done. Now it is design time. Anne Marie, the stage is yours. Oh my oh. God, Country Carpets did an amazing job on right. all of these rooms and the stairs. They're just beautiful. We really wanted a functioning office for Jerry. So important for her and everything that she does here to help other people. And so the long counter space, I think, is going to be key for her. We had Kitchen Express come in. They were able to lay them out. We also have some organizational things here, bulletin boards, and then just a whiteboard with a calendar so that Jerry can really, really function in her space. This is the kids' room where literally you have to be a kid just to kind of <laughs> use it, you know? I mean, well, I can stand up in here. Yeah, you know, almost like a hands and knees room. You know, it's such a small room, and the ceilings are super low. It just made sense to make that room for little kids. And then all of a sudden, I just thought, you know, in Morocco, they sit on these big, beautiful floor pillows, and why not just go with that theme? It's colorful, it's fun, and the kids can play on the floor. Uh, Moroccan pillows. Beautiful. Keep it going, girls. Keep it up, ladies. Got another are. one. Here's another nice. one. Get them while they're hot. When the kids are in the Moroccan room, I want it to be just a safe, happy place. Oh, this is adorable. So we've got coloring books, all kinds of different things. They can just be kids. Look what I've got. Oh, is that great? <laughs> and then, you know, we have fairy lights. So from one room to the other, this is the teen room. That, lounge. wow, this is awesome. That fantastic. I mean, clearly you can't do it on a large scale, right. but to accent a wall like this, so much fun. We have a sofa, a table and chairs, and some lounge chairs from New York Furniture Direct. Kids will be able to lounge, hang out, play some board games on the table, do homework, whatever they may need. I mean, the teens gonna like this room? Without a doubt, so yeah. 
The Hewlett House is about making people feel good, not only on the inside, but on the outside too. By transforming the wig room into a salon, we hope to help many people who walk through these doors, walk out of here feeling beautiful. Oh my gosh, I was so excited when I heard that Symmetry Closets was gonna come in and help us here at the Hewlett House because in particular, the wig room is just such an important room and definitely in need of a transformation. Yes, it's um, gonna be a nice height, it's gonna be easy to use, it's gonna be clean. And the knobs, where are those knobs from? I'm a big These fan. These are from Hayfula. They were very, very nice to donate most of the hardware that we're using on the project. That's a little jewelry. To make sure that the salon is totally organized, we brought in Vinny, the organized guy. He's getting everything streamlined, buttoned up, put together, and it's really gonna make this whole place better. We are so blessed, and we find a million little ways to give back. You know, and then you meet somebody like Jerry, who has devoted her entire life to giving back. And no matter what you do, you look at somebody like Jerry and you say, I'm not doing enough. So wherever we can help out, you know, we're thrilled. Oh my God, look at this. Oh my God, George, I can't believe it. Are you taking my heart away? <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs>You know, I'm gonna miss the energy of the Hewlett House. It's so warm and inviting, and that's what Jerry built. And uh, I think we've only been able to add to that by fixing the upstairs. Let's get Jerry back in here and show her what we've done. It's uh, very hard just waiting to see what's been done. We've been waiting for a lot of years for the work to be done, and we're always looking for miracles here. Oh my God, oh my God, look at this. Oh my God, George, I can't believe this. How did you do this? How did you ever? I, look what you guys did. Oh my God. I saw that new office space. It was like, oh my God. First of all, I had no idea that it was that big. Huh? Oh my God. Look at that. <gasps> oh, oh my, my God. God. We have light in here? Oh my God. You, you've blown me out of this century. I was totally speechless. I am shaking. George to the rescue. He did more than rescue us, I will tell you. Absolutely. This is literally just the tip of the iceberg. Like I said, we, we tackled the whole second floor. Oh, is this cute? Holy. Oh my God, look at this. Oh my God, I don't believe this. You threw it up everything, everything. You guys are out unbelievable. You didn't leave an animal out. Well, I come can't. on, would Noah? No. Oh my so. God. The color, oh my God. And we really wanted to make it vibrant and you colorful did. and inviting. And what a happy yeah. place. Yeah, there's no cancer in here. A hundred percent, that's another world. That's a whole other world. Because you can even talk to someone who's going through while their kids are up there and give support. That's so important, that they have that baby to cling to or that child, and yet we're walking them through that storm. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh God, this is unbelievable. This is totally teenager. This is teenager. exactly so. This is they don't want to be down with mom and dad. They no. don't want to be with their little siblings. They want to be in here where they can read, they can hang out, they can watch TV, play video games. Now, everything is organized and has its place and the colors. I mean, the walls, the paint, the, you know, the sun shining through the windows. Oh, you've taken my heart away. I am blown away from what has happened here. Oh, sh Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, look at this. I'm in a spa. You have made me cry all day. <laughs> 
happiness that I am crying for. I cannot believe what you guys did. I like, where's all the schmutz? <laughs> The schmutz, the schmutz is now in drawers and it's I, I, organized. It's not schmutz. Oh my god, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, when I walked into the, the wig room, you're walking into another world. That's about people who look at themselves in another dimension. They see cancer hits them in the face. This is what it's done to me, you know. But here, you just walked into the salon. It's it's clean. It's beautiful. It's light. It's bright, and it envelopes you with love. It's amazing. I have never met such wonderful people as I have during this whole project. We would never, ever have been able to do this on our own. Never. A lot of you were very much affected by the Hewlett House. This is a place that you've come. You know the warmth. You know the energy. And I've met a lot of amazing people through George Rescue, but no one compares to Cherry Barish. I've been calling her the Mother Teresa of Long Island. I mean, I don't... I've never had a day like this, and I've had a lot of days, but this has been one of the best. This was like today, I came into the lightness, and that's exactly the only way to explain it. You know, we went through a long, dark tunnel, and there is hope and light at the end of the tunnel, and that's it. That, that tunnel just opened up to another world. <laughs>